In this video, I'm going to talk about Planck's constant. Planck's constant is denoted by the letter h. You're going to see this popping up all over the place in the equations of quantum mechanics. So h is roughly this numerical value over here. Its order of magnitude is 10 to the minus 34. That's a very tiny number. And the units are joule seconds for this value over here. Uh, you can also express it in different units where you have something that is energy times time. As long as it's energy times time, all you need is a conversion factor to go between those different numerical values. So this guy over here is Planck's constant. That's h. We can also define another constant, h bar, which is the reduced Planck constant. Now that's this guy over here. And h bar is defined as h divided by 2 pi. So h over 2 pi, that's h bar. And this guy is approximately this numerical value in the units of joule seconds. So h bar is 2 pi times smaller than h. That's by definition. So why would we even go to the trouble of dividing by this factor of 2 pi? What do we actually gain from doing this? Well, we can actually make this more natural in the equations that it shows up in. So sometimes it's more natural to write equations in terms of h bar, and sometimes it's more natural to write it in terms of h. It's just a way of getting rid of pesky factors uh, of 2 pi that don't really need to be there and don't add anything to the equation. So that's the difference between h and h bar. You're going to see both in quantum mechanics, and you just need to know the difference is just a factor of 2 pi. Make sure you watch the rest of the videos in this quantum mechanics playlist. You can find them here.